It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC East. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. He's coming off a season where he certainly experienced his fair share of ups and downs. On the positive side, he threw for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. On the negative side, he threw the most interceptions in his career, and his team struggled and collapsed down the stretch. If he can get back to playing mistake-free football without sacrificing his aggressiveness, this team can get back to competing for a Super Bowl berth. Dotson in motion right. First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. And his first pass is incomplete. Man covers to start the game, and I expect we'll see a good amount of that. They trust their secondary to hold down the fort and let their pass rushers get home. And that's a good job right on play one. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. Hurts sets up to throw it. down. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that tougher rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So out come the Cowboys under head coach Mike McCarthy. They'll be commanded by their 6'3 quarterback from Central Michigan, Cooper Rush. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Rush. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a second and 10. They run here with Rico Dowdle. Muscles him off. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. 
Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Here's Rush to throw. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Back to throw Rush. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Throwing here, Rush. And this one is incomplete. And here, you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now Rush. Steps away to his left. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. First and goal from the six. A running play. It's Dowdle. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. To throw is Rush. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Ah, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Back to throw. Rush. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. The sack there by Brandon Graham coming in and bringing him down to the ground. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So on fourth down, out is Brandon Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick here is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. 
So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. at the line this Philly offense set to go these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance they couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goal post Charles we'll see if they can get a better more sustained drive going here yeah and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing when you start a drive from that deep in your own territory the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then you change the field position right you flip the field a little bit they didn't get that done this time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look. And we will take a short break. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Thirty-one yards on the punt there, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Going up top. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they had that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you've got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. Second and 10. Looking to throw. Rush. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. Rush. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down, spectacular catch, turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle by N'Kobe Dean. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. 
I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They run again with Dowdle. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here is third down and four. Looking to throw. Rush. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. But he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. They'll try and run for it. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And the Eagles defense able to hold. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punt the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They keep it with Barkley on first down. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll go to Barkley again, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They'll try the right side here, Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. From the gun, it's Hurts. Staying on his feet, eluding the pressure right. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. 
I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and nine. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Throwing his hurts. And it's caught. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They'll run with Barkley. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Showed some flash on the run, but he will be brought down shy of his 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. This second and four. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The offense on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Now a fair catch signaled for and made right about the 43-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They'll look to throw now on first down. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left.
They'll drop to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams... And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, 26 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. You expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They run here with Dowdle. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. That is caught. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They go play action with Rush. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. 
He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the gun. Rush able to hit his target, Lamb. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Out right, he finds Tolbert. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert from eight yards out. And the Cowboys are once again back in front. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Put up by Michael Parsons. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. But Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights, and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. Aubrey now for the point after. It's good to make it 17-7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And able to get this out to the 25. All right. 
ready at the line. This Philly offense set to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 46, here's second and three. Dotson in motion right. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he's across midfield to the 48. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A handoff to Barkley on the option. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Running again with Barkley on second down. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And this offense on third down today, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. They'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 30. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. This will be caught once again by Brown. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Bust through the tackle. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it's capped off by a 13-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away.
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't, Who's going to score the most points in this game? Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Third and 12. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. On is the putter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. They'll throw now on the final play. That one downfield for Dotson. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So instead of trailing into the lockers, they grab the lead with a clock reading all zeros before intermission. I would love to go into the locker room with them because right now they're riding a nice wave, aren't they? They're feeling good about themselves. But I know the coach is going to be talking to them about calming down, taking it easy. We've got a whole second half, but use the way we finished the first one to start the second. Elliott good with a PAT, and that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Inside give to Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it, and the running game is starting to pay off. Open man is Mingo, complete. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. Looking left sideline incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's second and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out, and that'll bring him back within a point. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts ready to take over once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out.
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They're going to look to throw. Hurts fumbles it. And one of the linebackers has got it. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. And a pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Following the fumble recovery, Rush. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Operating from the gun. Rush. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, maybe he said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So on fourth down, out is Brandon Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash, this from 33. And his kick is good. And they have regained the lead. So the fumble recovery had him set up in ideal field position, but they can muster only three points out of it. Yeah, when you're able to force turnovers, especially when it results in field position like they had, you really want to make it hurt. Here, they take the field goal. That's definitely not what they were hoping for. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Eagles offense and the veteran A.J. Brown set to go to work once more. And he was pretty much unguardable in that first half. You see the numbers there as they try to add to him here in this third quarter. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh. they only gave up the field yeah. goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Hurt sets up to throw it to Barkley on the check down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. 
So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the sack. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for Philly. 46 yards. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 31. Barkley inside handoff. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And that will be incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. He'll look to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Defensively by now, 
You know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting them. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Back to throw, Rush. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do. They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now Rush. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, Rush. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Down right around the 25. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. Not easy being a rookie left tackle in this league, and there they got it for the penalty. Not easy at all. Think about what you're dealing with every game you play. Ostensibly the best pass rusher 
is over you on every snap. I'd be a little jumpy myself. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it does it, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So on fourth down, out is Brandon Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will cut the lead down to just two. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Second down. Here's Barkley again. He takes this for three to the 29. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. This offense so far on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Ron Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Micah Parsons giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. At that time, finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. Not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. In motion left comes Brown. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they're going step with Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, baby. This is caught inside the 15, and he just falls short down at the one-yard line. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. And a through there going to be incomplete. 
critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Cowboys offense and running back Rico Dowdle headed back onto the field. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. It'll go down as a gain of six, third and seven now. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. Is something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Throwing here, Rush. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Now that one came close to hitting the big scoreboard up there as the fair catch is made inside the 20-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes the right read seemingly every time. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. This will be caught by Brown. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. Escapes the defender. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 79 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. 
The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Hurts. That is caught. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. The first down carry for Barkley. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Throwing his hurts. He's got Brown on the out route complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards for number 11. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Oh, it stays up. And we're in a one-score game in the second half. Now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Micah Parsons. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in its second and one.
Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Rush working from the gun. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. You're not going to get many better opportunities than that to take the lead in the fourth quarter. He's got a man wide open. But, oh, my goodness, just too much air under the ball, and he knew it right away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Rush. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Third and eight. Here's Rush to throw. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Rush. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Now Rush. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's Rush. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now first and goal. He'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
He was unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Zach Bond in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Partner, you absolutely cannot take a sack in that situation. Now, it's also fourth down. Here it is, fourth and goal. They're going for it, Rush. He finds his man, complete. That's Ferguson, and he will be brought down well shy of the goal line. They get the completion, but cannot push forward into the end zone, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. They'll run it again with Barkley. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance.